Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn Scratch tutorial and today we're going to be showing you how to make a Scratch top-down racing game. So first thing we're going to do is let's just rename our game to top down a racing game. There we go and good excellent. So first thing we want to do is let's make our course for us, our cars to drive around on. So backdrops we've already got a backdrop here Let's click on the pen, uh, the line tool there, sorry, the pen tool, brush tool. There we go. And let's change the thickness of the brush to almost full thickness, about there. There we go. Now I'm gonna make my road that color. In fact, let's make it a gray, let's make it a dark gray color. There we go. And we've got a big circle. So let's draw a nice, big circle. There we go. And that's my racetrack, brilliant. There you go, and it's on there. And what I'll do here is, let's draw a small black area, and that can be the start and finish line. Oops, that's too big, let's undo that. Let's make that really small. Let's do that. There we go, fill that up there. And there we go, that could be my start and finish line area. There we go, brilliant. There you go. So there's my track, my cars will race around there and all the way back to the start. So let's add a car to the track. So I'm gonna upload a sprite by clicking on upload and I'm gonna use one of my cars that I've saved. All four of these on the Learn the website, so just pick the one you want. I like green, so I'm gonna have the green car for my first car. There we go. And uh, there's my green car on the track. Brilliant. Good. Now the green car there, that's okay. Let's make sure he's costume centered. Where's my green car? Perfect. It's right on the center of the car. So that means it's going to behave normally. And it's a little bit big. So let's click on the shrink tool. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That's perfect size. Perfect size. Good. Now there's my car. Now, when my car starts, at the moment it seems to be facing uh, that way, which is not a good way to start because it's going to drive off the track. So what we'll do is we'll say, uh, when we start the game, let's just turn him to face, to that point in direction, and let's say down. So hopefully when I press start, there we go, good stuff. So he points in that direction. And also I want him to start there on that side. So I can have another car, the blue car there. So I've moved him to where I want. And if you look here with the go to, if you move him, notice how the go to changes to wherever you move him to. That means now that you can use the go to and just pop him there. So when start clicked, he's going to go the turn the right way and he's going to move to there. So now he'll go there. Doesn't matter where he is on the board. If I press start, he'll go to the right place and he's facing in the right direction. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get him driving around. Good. This is nice and easy. We're going to tag it onto the bottom of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a forever loop. Uh, we could use the event loops here when space pressed, but they're not as responsive. A, and a loop based one is much, much better. So let's have the loop there. And there's going to be three ifs here. Uh, if I press, and I'm going to control green with the left hand side of the uh, keyboard. So W will be forward, A will be turn left, and D will be turn right. So let's have a look. If key pressed, there we go, let's go down to W. If W is pressed, then let's move him forwards. Duplicate, if the A key is pressed, if I'll just duplicate, and if the D key is pressed. There we go. So if W is pressed, move forward. If the A key is pressed, let me move to turn left. If the D key is pressed, turn right. So let's have a look at that. Well, that's okay, but he's, he's going a bit crazy around the board. That might be slightly difficult to drive. He's going a little bit too quickly. So what we'll do here is, let's just take that to five. There we go. Now let's put that down to five, good. There we go, excellent, good, perfect. 
Do, 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 do. There you go. You can obviously adjust this to whatever you want, um, but that's not too bad. Now, at the moment, my car, he goes and he stops, but he doesn't really speed up or slow down, does he? So what we'll do instead of just doing this move five steps is let's do something else. Let's create a variable for your car and set it to this only, and let's call it my speed. There we go. There you go, set the speed, and at the start of the game, your speed is zero. And let's say, here we go, we're also going to need another variable called uh, top speed. There we go, and this is our maximum speed for this sprite. And our top speed that we go at, well, it's five there, so let's set our maximum speed to five. There we go. Brilliant, there you go. And now what we can say is, if you press the W key, there we go, uh, put another if inside, and we say if, oops, if our speed, there we go, if our speed is less than our top speed, then let's just increase our speed a little bit, there we go, and change uh, change speed by uh, one. There we go. So he'll speed up. And then this time, here's the clever thing. Instead of moving five steps, what we'll do is we'll move speed steps. So hopefully now, there we are. Let's have a look. If W is pressed, if speed is less than top speed, there we go. Oops. Oh, we need the top speed there. So move speed steps outside of that if, otherwise he'll never move. So let's have a look at that. And uh, let's have a look. So now, let's have a look. There we go. Oh. In fact, what we'll do is just move that there, right out of there. So no matter what happens, he's always trying to move. There we go, that's more like it. Now the only problem is now, if I've let go, his speed won't actually decrease. He'll never stop. So what we need to do now is We'll move him a step, and then we'll just change his speed by minus one. There we go, minus one. So what this means now is when we hold down the W key, if his speed is less than his top speed, then he'll speed up a little bit. There we go. In fact, let's do that by minus, minus 0.5. And after he's sped up, then he'll move that amount of steps, and then he'll slow down a little bit. Let's have a look at that. Let's see if that works. Whoops. There you go, that's looking quite good. The only problem is now, obviously, is, there we go, is at the moment, if I stop doing it at all, you'll start going backwards. So we're probably going to need another if statement, uh, and we're only going to change our speed. Yeah, there we go. If our speed is greater than, if our speed is greater than, 0.5 or 0.4. Let's try 0.4. Zero. Let's have a look. Zero. Let's try that. If our speed is greater than zero, then we change our. There we go. Uh, if I actually, yeah, in fact, no. What we'll do is we'll do it a slightly better way. Change speed by 0.15. What we'll say is if our speed is If our speed is less than zero, at the end there, if our speed is less than zero, we'll just set our speed back to zero. There we go. That'll stop us from reversing everywhere. Let's have a go at that now. There you go. So now you've got a slightly better car there. Rather than just stopping and going, he's, he does a bit of acceleration. There you go. And you can actually see that in the uh, green car's speed there. There we go. Perfect. Good. So now you've got a car that moves forward and it goes round the track. Brilliant. Good. So what we're going to do next? Well, we could add another car at this point. Let's just get rid of that one. We could add the red car at this point, but there's a problem. Well, not a problem, but it, we're actually going to add a little bit more code you'll see in a bit to our green car. So if we did, if we added the red car now, all we'd end up doing is having to code it all over again. Whereas if we get the green car working perfectly, what we can do is we can just duplicate the green car and then it should work fine. 
it should actually copy all the code over where they need to the red car. So what else have we got to do? Well, at the moment we've got it moving and stopping, but there's no way of, if we go around the course, of keeping track of which lap we're on. So we've got, there's no way of winning or losing at the moment, apart from maybe crashing, we could do that. So we need to add some way of making it move around here and checking where it is on the course and seeing if it's completed a lap. So how are we going to do that? Well, the easiest way to do it, uh, the way I do it, is we use what I call quadrants. So if we imagine here, where he starts, there we go, when he starts here, he starts in this first quadrant here. He starts in here, and then he moves along here, and if he's, he goes from here to here, then he moves from quadrant one to quadrant two, and if he moves from here up to here, he goes to quadrant three, and if he moves from here to here, he goes to quadrant four, and then finally, if he goes down again, then he goes from quadrant four back to quadrant one, and he gains a lap. So, how are we going to do that? Well, need another variable, again, for this sprite, and this is his quadrant, where he's at. Quadrant, there we go. And we'll start him off in quadrant number one, because he's going to be here. Good, there we go. So he starts at quadrant one, Good. Now what do we say? Well, we say we can use, again, we can use the X values and the Y values of the car. So what we can say is if here, let's have a look, if his X value is greater than zero and his Y value is less than, let's say, less than 50, is that less than 50? Yeah, if his x value is less than is if his x value is greater than zero and his y value is less than well, let's have a look. If I know we'll do less than zero. If his y value is less than zero, then we'll move from quadrant one to quadrant two. So let's have a go at that. So if his and we're gonna need a few of these x there's two there's three things happening. So Let's have a look. What was it? So if he's in quadrant one, so if his quadrant is, there we go, is number one, is if his quadrant's in quadrant one, and his x value is greater than zero, so he's over on the, the right hand side, and his x value is greater than zero, oops, let's push that out, let's pop it back in and his x value, his x position is greater than zero. And finally, his y value is less than, what's that y value less than? Ooh, it's got to be about here, doesn't it? Let's say less than zero, less than, less than zero. So his y value is less than zero. Good, there we go. So if he's in quadrant one and his position is less, uh, greater than, x position is greater than zero and his y position is less than zero, then what we'll do is we'll move his quadrant, move him to quadrant two. There you go, so he's now, uh, so he's now in quadrant two. Good, there you go. And we keep doing that now, we just keep doing it for each of the quadrants. So if he's in quadrant number two and his x value is greater than zero yeah that's okay and his y value is greater than zero so let's get with that one let's just change that one if his y value is greater than zero greater than zero then he can switch to quadrant three good stuff so one two three uh add another one there we go oops let's put them in the right place so if his quadrant is three and his x value is less than zero Let's move that one out of there, less than zero. If his x value is less than zero. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, let's push it back in. A bit fiddly today. If his x value is less than zero and his y value is greater than, let's say here, 50, 60, 60 y value is greater than 60 because it's got to be right up here then good stuff then let's move him to quadrant number four good excellent good 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 
And then the final one, so if he's in quadrant number four, and his x position is uh, over this way, less than, in fact, he's got to be over here for this time. I don't want him sneaking past the finish line here. So let's say you'll only get the, you'll only get it from here, minus 150. So his x position is less than minus 150. And his y position, here we go, exactly, where does he pass over? Let's say there is where he gets to it. Oh, there. And let's do a dead center of the black thing. So y minus 13. Let's do minus 10. So his y position is less than minus 10. His y position is less than minus 10. There we go. So if he's in quadrant 4, his x position is there. It's, it's over to the left. His y position is down there, less than minus 10. If that's the case, we set the quadrant back to number 1. And we add one to the lap. But I've just realized that we haven't got a variable for his lap. There we go. Lap. There we go. And at the start of the game, our lap is number one. Good stuff. And there we go. Change lap by one. Let's have a look. Let's try that now. So he's going round. Keep an eye on the quadrant. He's into quadrant two. He's into quadrant three, he's into quadrant four, and he should now, back to quadrant one, lap two. Okay, good, perfect. So we've tested that, we've tested the valid data that it's working. Now let's try and break it. Let's see if we could do it in an invalid way. So let's go around the wrong way. Um, let's have a look, two, three, ooh. Managed to break that, didn't we? So we'll have to have a look at that. I don't know how we managed that. I think we landed in this water, uh, this area here. I think that's what happened. So that's okay. But you can see that if it just turns around here, uh, then it's okay. So I'll live with that. That's not too bad. That's a bit glitchy, but I'll live with it. What we can do now, though, is... There we go. What we will do is let's add some water to it. So first of all... Let's add some grass on the internal or external. Good stuff. There's a bit. Of, oh, we're not on the. Oh, let's not colour the car in. Let's go back to our backdrop. Let's colour in the backdrop for green, and then let's have a blue. Let's add some blue water or some aquamarine marine sort of water. Let's add a bit of water. Uh, there we go. Just use the pen. There we go. And add a bit of water in the center, there we go, good, there we go, there's a bit of water, that'll stop her from cheating, in fact we'll add it right up to about there, good stuff, and what we'll say now on the green car is, there we go, do, 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 let's just get rid of these, it's a bit messy there isn't it, this is a really big loop here, let's say if we are touching uh, if we are touching color, that one there, then what we will do is if we touch the blue, let's just glide back to the start position, which is in, good stuff. Glide for there for a second. In fact, let's do that two seconds to punish him. And let's turn him pointing down, pointing down, good. There we go. That's quite a big, that's quite a big, big, big loop, isn't it? Oh, well, there we go. So we're going to point him down. Let's try that now. So he's going along, he's going along. He tries to cheat. Nope, we'll move him back. And there we go. Let's just try that again. Let's move it along, move it along, move it along. And he goes back to there. There we go. Good stuff. Move along. We'll go back to there. Excellent. Good. Perfect. So if he goes on the blue, he uh, goes back to the start. Good stuff. What we'll also do here is, if he goes on the green, let's slow him down a bit. Now, let's add that on here. If, oops, Ooh, where's that going there? Let's go, let's just put it, there we go. Oh, why is that not letting me do that there? 
Well, let's put it there. I don't know why that's doing that. It's being a bit fiddly. So what we'll do is we'll just take that out of there, put that there, and then put that back in. There you go. There we go. That's much better. And let's say if... There we go. If touching colour... Click on that. Click on that. So if we're touching that colour green, then at the moment our top speed's 5. So... We need to set his top speed to set top speed to there we go set top speed to and let's do two there we go and actually I've just realised now of course we'll say if he's touching that colour he sets top speed to two of all we need to do an else in there so let's just get rid of that one let's put let's change that for an if else there we go let's get rid of that one go if his top speed is two there we go uh, if he's touching green top speed two otherwise top speed back to five there we go there we go good and now hopefully let's have a look he's going fast he's going fast yeah if he hits the grass he goes slow now he's speeding up again good so that will stop people trying to cheat there and just nip across good Perfect. And as you can see, he's also increasing his lap, which is perfect. Good. Brilliant. Good. There we go. Now, that's all sorted there. And what we also need to do here as well is let's do another, rather than do the world's longest script, which it seems to be there. Um, there we go. Let's say it went spark, start pressed forever. There we go. Forever, if, let's have a look, do, 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 in fact, actually, no, we won't do that, let's do a different one, repeat until, or wait until, repeat until, wait until, let's do wait until, wait until, and let's say our lap is five, let's say you can do, let's do you do one, two, three, four, five, let's say wait till our lap is six, there we go. Wait until our lap equals six. There you go. And if his lap is six, then we can broadcast player. Uh, oh, what's that? Close that on green car. Green car wins. There we go. So when start clicked, wait until lap equals six and broadcast green car wins. And what we'll do is just to test that, let's just say hello. Let's just say green car wins, wins. And let's change that to lap number two. There we go. Just to test that. So we could always put that back in a bit. So hopefully when we get round here, there we go. Ooh, hopefully green car wins. Perfect. Brilliant. Good. And say green car wins, and what we'll do is we'll stop all the other scripts on that sprite as well. Stop other scripts in this sprite. There you go. So it'll stop the car from moving. Yep, perfect. So if he wins, it'll stop the car from moving. Brilliant. Good. And excellent. Good. So there's your green car. What we'll do now is let's duplicate the green car. And let's change his costume. Let's upload another costume. Let's call it red car. Brilliant. Let's delete that one. Good. Here we go. And it's got all of that sprites. Where's it got all of those? Uh, it ha I don't think it has it. Oh, has it? Yes, it has. It's got all the. It's got all the. All those sprites. Let's call that red car. It's got all of these variables. Like it's got that for the red for the green car. It's got it for the red car as well now. So all those sprites are there. Hopefully, all we need to do now is here. Let's let's change that from green car wins to red car wins. There we go, and let's just change that to red car wins. Our little test, red car wins. Oops, red car wins. Red car wins. There we go, and so broadcast red car wins. Duh, 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 duh. 
that's okay good stuff brilliant excellent so and we also need to change our keys forward we we'll use the arrow keys for this one so the up arrow is forward the left arrow is left the right arrow is right there we go let's have a look so let's press start see if that works there we go we there we go comes around here red car wins perfect good now you'll notice when i press start there's a slight glitch because the uh, red cars over the top of the green car so let's just change that let's just move that there uh, let's change that to x minus 180 maybe let's try that one 185 minus 185 185 good hey there you go perfect so now you've got two cars that work one there and one there and they could both race around the track oops it's quite hard doing this when you're doing it on your own good stuff there we go and whichever one goes first will will win red car wins perfectly so let's change that to lap equals five there we go lap equals five good stuff Brilliant. So that's all done there. Good stuff. We don't need to see these anymore, so we'll just hide those. So we've got all of that. Excellent. And what we could do with now, really, just to sort of finish it off, is let's add a let's add a, a game over screen. Okay. So let's have a look. So let's add a new screen, a new one there, and I'm going to do a nice easy one. You guys can do uh, whatever sort of one you want. So there we go let's just put red red car wins there we go there we go red car wins brilliant so we've got a screen for the red car if he wins and then let's duplicate that and a screen for the green car wins click there there's a green car oh 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 made a slight slight error there what we'll do is we'll delete that one let's create a new one uh let's paint that there and that's green car win green green car wins there we go brilliant obviously you can do your own your own backdrop smiles better there we go good stuff Red car wins, green car wins, good stuff. And brilliant, that's okay. So what we need to say now is, uh, at the start of the game, you set it to, um, let's rename this, game, rename that, red win, rename that, green win. There we go. And switch backdrop to, so at the start of the game, change the backdrop to game, the game screen. And when I receive green car wins, change the backdrop to green win. Switch back to, there we go. When I receive red car wins, change it to red win. And actually, let's stop all sprite uh, stop all scripts as well unless you want to add some more scripts going on so that'll stop all the cars and what we'll do is there we go actually i know what we'll do go before we do that let's just let's do a quick broadcast and let's create a broadcast and let's call it game over game over so that no matter what happens we do another broadcast called game over and on each of the cars when they receive game over let's hide the cars otherwise they're all around the pitch aren't they which is a bit messy so let's just do that when i receive game over hide the car hide good there we go boom perfect uh, of course, that does mean that if they get game over, the cars will hide. So we're going to need to show the cars 
at the start of the game otherwise the first time you run the game and they get hidden they won't appear again so let's have a go let's try and run that game let's have a quick go uh let's have a quick run round green car Oh, look, I wonder how far, where's my, what my, my lap on my green car? It's on lap three. We've got two more to do. Come on, green car. There we go, it's on lap four. And last bit, let's have a look. Should be, hey, green car wins, perfect. And there you go, it's all done. Let's get rid of that. We don't need to say green car wins anymore because we're going to launch that other, the other game over. And we don't need to do that. There we go. Brilliant. Perfect. So it's all there ready to go. And for improvements, well, it's up to you. The first improvement you can do is you can add some sounds to the game. So you can do background music. You can add some sound effects to the car. So whenever you're pressing uh, the up arrow, then it makes a noise. That's quite easy to do. You can have a go at that. You could do it so that um, you have power-ups that appear in the game periodically. And if you get that power-up, then the your car speeds up or the other car uh, slows down. That's always good. Um, or, or takes one off their number of laps. That's quite, quite cool. And you could also add a start screen to the game. That's good. You could put a start screen on there. Or you could have a timer, put a timer on there, and you could uh, have some kind of high score system, see who gets the fastest time, uh, kind of time trial sort of thing. There's loads of different options, but there's the basic game for you. Thank you very much.